What is up y'all? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be taking a look at the all new 2020 Supra. I don't think I've made it clear on this channel yet but I'm really into the car. I think it looks sick uh, and I'm also a big Toyota fan as you can tell from behind me. So I'm going to be driving down to the dealership which has a launch edition at their dealership that is not sold yet. Unfortunately I cannot pay for that. They're just asking too much above MSRP but uh, for those of y'all who are interested, if I'm happy with the way this dealership is, and so far I am with how they're treating me on the phone, um, then I'll drop their information in the description. It is a bit of a drive from my house, so I'm gonna have to, it's gonna be about an hour until we're actually there, but I'm hoping it'll be worth it. And so I'm not sure what all I can record, um, but I'll try to record as much as I can for you guys. Now, this is gonna be my second trip to a dealership, and Hmm, I wonder why. Well, let me go ahead and play a clip and show y'all what happened last time we tried to look at a Toyota Supra. And this dealership has one. So yeah, that didn't go so well. If y'all are interested in the story behind it, leave a like on this video and let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and make a video about what happened that day. Long story short, not a fan of that dealership. Okay, so before we take too long, uh, I'm in a rush because they close pretty soon. It's pretty late outside. So I'm gonna go ahead, get in the truck, make the drive down there, and let's take a look at it. We just got to Toyota of Dallas. I can see the Supra peeking through the window there. So even though there's a bunch of cool cars out here, they got a nice 86, uh, crazy inventory. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Supra and hopefully they don't get me in trouble for filming. Dang. Black launch edition wheels. Black caps, which I'm sure you can just get wrapped if you don't have the launch edition. Wow. It's pretty. BMW did a great job. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, wow. That's a. That looks so good in person. Not as short as a supercar, but I mean, it's it's not super tall in a good way though. Look at that thing, man. Looks so good. So the lights, I see where they're coming from. They definitely have a Mark IV uh, vibe. And honestly, in video, they look kind of stupid, a little much too big. Um, from down low, I think they look good. Up top, they look a little bit long, but other than that, man, I, I like the truck, I mean, the car. Wow, wow, wow. The way the lights stick out on the back. It's a good looking car. Fake air vents, but that's not, that's not an issue. They say you can pull them out. I'm sure it's too much work, but I wouldn't end up doing that. But I think they're cool. Still looks good. Wow. The car looks good, but like most people, I think I agree that this back three quarters look with the bumper going up and the back of the car looks the best. The front's pretty good, but the back just, wow. Again, it's hard to see in videos, the creases of the car kind of they come up to make a point at the back. You got that kind of duck lip spoiler almost. Wow, and the F1 inspired kind of reverse light down here. Oh man. Pretty car. Little too expensive, a lot too expensive with dealer markup, but man, it looks good. y'all can see that 93 is what they're asking 30 over it sucks but that's what they're going for at least the launch editions it's a pretty car sucks play. what's up man good to how see you how are you good how are you Thanks. yeah guys so this is my favorite angle of the car just the way all the lines come together this swooping line here, and then that right there with the light sticking out a little bit. Man, that's good stuff. Once these cars go a little bit lower in price, and they're not marked up so much, believe me, I want to get my hands on one super bad. Let me know, should I keep the 
TRD Pro Tacoma or should we get this instead? For those of y'all wondering, there are a few things that are different about the Launch Edition from the other Supras. For the first thing, there's only 1,500 units. So, right here in the glove box just above it, hard to see on video, but there's a plaque saying what number of 1,500 it is. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the number right here in the video of this car. The next thing is gonna be these red mirror caps. Uh, the normal ones, they're just black, these are red. And then the third thing that I can recall is gonna be these wheels. The normal ones kind of have a black chrome, black chrome colorway, where these are full blackout. I prefer these to the black and chrome wheels. Uh, these ones do look a little bit better in my opinion. And then the last thing is on the interior, you get a red interior on the launch editions. This is a red car, so Toyota doesn't allow you to do red on red, rightfully so, because that would look a little stupid in my opinion. It would just be too much red. So this car has a black interior. So on this car, there's three differences. The badge up there saying blank of 1500, um, this red here, and then the black wheels. And then the other two trims are the 3.0 and 3.0 Premium. Uh, the 3.0, uh, you get a kind of a downgraded interior. The interior isn't as nice, um, but for $3,000 extra, you get a better interior in the 3.0 Premium and bigger brakes. I believe it's both front and rear. So there's three trims. I would probably go with the 3.0 Premium. And if you have the cash, definitely go with the Launch Edition. It's a beautiful car, and it definitely will probably end up being a collector's item in the future. Man, that exhaust looks good. This diffuser looks good. Everything about this car, man, it's dreamy. And for those of y'all saying that this is a BMW, you can stop watching this video and leave a dislike now. I disagree. Um, this is a Toyota. Uh, the exterior is Toyota. The interior, okay, it's not so Toyota, but that's okay. Um, for the most part, this car was developed by Toyota and with the partnership of Toyota. And this car would have never ever happened if the partnership didn't exist. So I'm just thankful that the Supra name is back uh, and I'm really loving the package that it's in now. Here's another cool shot. You can see kind of the bubble in the roof, how it goes up and up for your helmets. So you have a little bit more headroom. Um, one thing that I've seen in other videos is that once you're in the interior, you really realize how little um, headroom is an issue. There's plenty of headroom for taller people. And another interesting thing on this car is this little black lip here that's filled in. While they were developing the car, they actually realized that it has too much cooling. Um, and so they put that little black thing there uh, to kind of keep the engine just a little bit warmer. And so tuners are able to remove that piece and the other air vents around the car uh, to try to get more cooling if the car end up ends up making more power, um, which is definitely gonna happen in the future with tuners. And look at those brakes. I believe these are Brembo brakes. I don't know what else to say. I don't know the specs, but they're sick. We just got out of Toyota Dallas. Um, really, really great people. I'm so happy with how they were. Very typical for a dealership to not take me too seriously, and I get really tired of that. And these guys, the manager, everybody that works here, was awesome really cool vibe everybody's pretty nice very low pressure uh, they don't pressure you into buying the cars like a lot of dealerships and it was just a really nice environment so here are some other cars that they have so many trd pros tundra tacoma tacoma tundra forerunner forerunner standard forerunner but they have beautiful trucks out here um really i mean just amazing inventory and all of these cars that you see are 5k over sticker i'm sure it's negotiable negotiatable i don't know the word um which honestly isn't too bad for these cars i mean i'm gonna leave tristan's info in the description give him a call really friendly he's willing to talk to y'all if y'all have any questions whatsoever so great trd pro inventory and then a beautiful trd pro or i believe that's a trd pro yeah trd pro over there and plenty of other Toyotas. So massive, massive uh, dealership and a lot of cars, really great people. And more with inventory, they have a Linex uh, Tacoma here and then a Linex 4Runner here. So yeah, Toyota of Dallas, really cool people, really happy with them. Um, even though I wasn't even gonna buy the car because it was too much for me, MSRP is good, but the markup I just can't do. They were still really helpful and uh, spent time with me, talked to me about the car, 
and so I really appreciate that. And this is not a sponsored video. They're not paying me anything to say this. I'm getting absolutely nothing in return for it, but I just want to shout out a good dealership. Um, I haven't had an experience like this uh, in a while, so I'm really happy with it. So let's go ahead, get back in my truck, and uh, get back home. This is dangerous. Oh. Okay, y'all, so we're back at the house. Um, like I was saying earlier, really impressed with that dealership. Super happy with how nice they were and just the general atmosphere, the vibe of the dealership was great. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, I love this truck. It's super fun and I don't think I'm really gonna be getting rid of it anytime soon. But the Supra, is that a good car? What do y'all think about it? I personally love it, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts as well. If you like this video, please drop a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Leave a comment down below. And uh, thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.